Good morning, welcome back to the Big Ski family. This week we chose an adventure of a different kind. Skiing is a physical adventure. It's wonderful to share physical challenges with a fa as a family and to push each other in those ways. But you know what? We don't wanna neglect the spiritual part, our relationship with the Lord or our mental capacity, of learning, creating new things, learning new ideas, all part of a, uh, an educated person and a useful person, a person with increased capabilities, increased confidence. If there's one thing we want to give our children, it's this foundation, a foundation of faith and a foundation of learning how to think, learning how to study, loving, a, loving learning, a passion for learning, and a, a curiosity. And this weekend we went up to the Washington Heritage Homeschool Conference. Okay, so we had a lot of people direct messages wanting to know about the logistics of how we take care of a big ski family on the road. And so I thought I'd let you in behind the scenes. Um, today we're going to Christian Heritage Homeschool Conference. It's a two day conference that's amazing. Anyway, I got up at 6.30 this morning, got myself ready. My strategy for that is that if I'm ready, I can take care of everybody else. So got up, um, showered, got the kids clothes ironed um, so much of a successful day happens the night before so laying things out we didn't have a iron and ironing board in our room so you get that um, get to pick get kids together at a decent hour and then get up and have breakfast ready for them breakfast with me wherever I go because I never know what the breakfasts are gonna be in the hotel so today I pre hard boiled the eggs okay so these are not soft they're hard so it's good for protein and then I've got yogurt here what I think about blueberries or strawberries in there we have bagels that could go with cream cheese I'm gonna slice up some melon and then I have our cereals old cereals I bring paper goods and um, plastic silverware. Uh, a little bit of honey. I try to go with um, cereals that are low in sugars and don't need that much honey, so that'd be shredded wheat. Cornflakes from Trader Joe's, and our favorite is muesli. Actually, it doesn't require any honey, so I just know this and milk is an easy solution. You get it at Safeway, $2.50 a box. Um, anyway, so that's breakfast. I might add that this hotel room is very unusual. We rarely ever have a microwave or refrigerator or stove or this is a full on dishwasher in our hotel room. Very unusual and I never plan on that. So usually I would bring this in an ice chest. up I have everybody make their own lunch and then I have them put them in the blue ice chest so this blue ice chest right here holds all the lunches I have a, block, um, a sharpie that's right next to the food and they mark their food they're very territorial about their food and a lot of people eat salads they do all kinds of things we had salads um, let me show you this so the most creative meal that we had yesterday was Barrington he put hot water in a hydro flask, stuck four eggs in there, pulled them out and had hot eggs, 
with salt and pepper on them and he pulled out some Tupperware that he had cottage cheese and mandarin oranges that he had put on top. So that was his lunch and he just said this was the best meal ever. So people get creative. When you're on the road as much as we are, people get tired of sandwiches and so I really try to stick with salads. Um, so that's that. So here's lunch right here. I also bring something, this time I brought something called oatmeal bake. Okay, we've already eaten some of this, but this is just really good filler for kids. When you've got nine kids that are hungry and they need snacks, we ate half of it last night after we went to Chick-fil-A. So that's good to have on hand. Up here in the front seat, I always carry a snack bag. So these two things are crucial for us going on a trip. A lunch bag and a snack bag. In here I just have roasted peanuts. What do we have? Salt and pepper, pistachios. We have chips, almonds. I usually have crackers. And I'll show you our fruit bin in the back. So at this homeschool conference, I need to come up with breakfast and lunch for two days. So we bring out the big bad boy igloo and I brought a, uh, let's see, a dry goods bin. This has paper goods, more cereal, peanut butter chips, popcorn, granola bars, crackers, wipies, granola, because lots of kids like uh, just yogurt with granola and fruit. This right here, okay, in here, it's like cheese and guacamole and some kids will just down a pepper, you know? I got some, um, so we've got grapes, um, salads. We're gonna be going to some breakout sessions that I really wanna attend. I really wanna maximize my time here. And so we're just gonna take salads already made, ready to go. These are $3. Um, we're at Tate and Tate. I also have loose lettuce in here that people can make things. I think I make turkey sandwiches yogurt again um yeah so that's salsa you know just kind of empty my fridge and then over here is our fruit bin so we've got apples oranges um pears um i do have some bananas inside cucumbers just you know shucking down a cucumber <laughs> known for that or just I always have lots of peppers people would just eat a whole pepper and call it good and I'm feeling good about that as a mom right the other thing we do is each person has a bin I told them they're packing for six days so we're actually transitioning down to LA after this so we're all good to go they've got three nice outfits two nice outfits for the homeschool conference one extra nice outfit in case something happens to one of them and then three comfortable outfits so that was their job to pack for that. Then each um, overnight bag is labeled with their name. These are really great because you could just stick it on your back and off they go. So that's kind of my thing. So this is my lunch for today. It is rosemary chicken um, salad on top of salad with some grapes and some dressing. I love these little dividers, those little Tupperware dividers because it keeps it all separate. You mix it all together, it's awesome. So my lunch is all ready to go. Make sure I have a rubber band around it so it stays put. So this is a little hack, I guess you could say, um, when we travel. Always make sure that we have tissue in here. We have a little sweeper broom. Anytime we're at the uh, gas station or stop, sweep everything out, get it down here and throw it in the trash so you keep your van clean. I always have some spoons and forks in here and always have, what else? Water. In the car is my backpack <laughs> and in here is my life, it's everything. So I've got my phone charger. When I go, I've got my Bible. Whoops. Bible. I've got my journal. I've got a um, place for cards. Actually, this is for my husband. 
Uh, my scripture memory cards. I like when I travel. I like to make use of my time and memorize verses that are encouraging to me. Um, when I go to an event, I always bring paper and a pencil. Um, this is great in the car too. It's nice and hard. And so yesterday while we were driving, I wrote a three-page letter to somebody and a card to my husband. So, and then if the kids want to draw, this is a nice little clamp, put a pencil. Hey, you guys can play hangman, draw, whatever. And then I always bring my calendar. As you can see, Big Ski Family has got a lot of uh, ski stickers on there. And the last thing I do is I always bring something to read. Right now I'm reading a book called The Art of Parenting. Amazing book, probably the best book I've ever read on parenting. So that's what I have up in my front seat. And whenever I go to a hotel room, I've got everything in here. I grab my overnight bag, grab my backpack, my purse, and food, and we're ready to go. Little tip, when people are, I always have a pack of gum when we go on a trip and I always bring vitamin C. When the morale starts to drop down, I'm like, who wants the vitamin C, everyone? Yeah! So we pass these around, and it always brings the morale up. Um, also, I always save the piece of gum. They get a half a piece of gum um, at like the very end of trips, when we're like going 14 hours from Oregon down to California. And those last two hours are kind of long. Pop a piece, half a piece of gum in their mouth, and they do great. Also, I was very happy that I had these cough drops last night. Barrington was coughing all night long. I got up here, I remembered I had put some cough drops in here. Those are always good to have. It gave me a good night's sleep. all day Friday, all day Saturday, sitting in workshops as a family, sometimes in different breakouts, different rooms, hearing the topics, everything from different science, uh, topics from uh, how to learn, how to study uh, better, how to think, uh, business uh, activities, and even spiritual and personal development, family relationships. They really touched on a lot of different things. And this is something we used to do years ago with our, when our children were young, and all of a sudden we're realizing as, as they've gotten older, we've kind of drifted away from some of these uh, conferences because we've kind of been doing it a long time. It was so good to get back into that space with our children and to realize that our younger children in particular really will benefit from some of this encouragement, being around other young people, other families, and growing and being exposed to these things. This is what I call a tailgate party. All the families eating their lunches. Out of the car, here we are. Yeah, Coaster, yes. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of what we do when we're not on the mountain and we're not out doing physical adventures. We're taking care of the rest of us, the other parts of us, and in endeavoring to be all that God created us to be. Hopefully you enjoyed this and got some practical ideas, maybe for your own family, on how to travel and how to save costs and pack a lunch. Uh, but we hope you join us next week. We're actually moving to Los Angeles. Thanks so much. Appreciate you. Have a great day.